Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'll help you find your wife. What does she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Well, I better go see how my other clients are doing. If you say so, Manny. your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry Dr. Bonewagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog, or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. 
It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meche. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty tack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Later. Out. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. 
I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Okay, tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new Kochek system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Okay, back to work. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? 
I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Claudius is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walk-in beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny, because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Nothing. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Seaman Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees. They do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way the things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee.
It's locked, but there's no this. I've got the lumps to prove it. hate more crowds or cats but I'm definitely not going near either one today hey looks like a great night for cat races don't forget ladies and gentlemen Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I needed to find coins in my couch. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. Well, see you, Carla. All right, Manny. I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. <laughs> 